Books are great avenues for learning, and making reading a habit will surely spark something in your mind and stay inspired. That is also the case with financial books, and if you don't know which book would be a great starter, then this video is for you. Welcome to Luxio. In this video, you can choose from these 15 books that will help you go from broke to millionaire. But before we dive in, click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on more of our awesome videos. Number 1. The E-Myth Revisited by Michael Gerber This is the ideal book for anyone with a skill they wish to convert into a business. It will assist you in determining whether or not you should make the move. And if you do, how can you at least avoid burning yourself out? Because most individuals haven't read this book, most businesses fail within the first year. As a result, we strongly advise you to obtain a copy. When you're just starting out, the last thing you want to happen is to end up working for your own business. Number 2. The Lean Startup by Eric Rice we understand that some of you work with numbers, the type who is obsessed with measuring and optimizing everything. We're in the same boat, and this is the best book on starting a business. It's a little more complicated than the others. If you give this book a chance, you might be able to save your startup. Those of you implementing principles from traditional tech companies to Web3 will benefit much from the Lean Startup. Number 3. The Hard Thing About Hard Things by Ben Horowitz The hard thing about hard things is the evolution of the lean startup if it gets you started. These two books are best purchased together. This is the kind of book you need at your bedside if you're the CEO of a small business that's growing. Horowitz is the type of billionaire that we all want to be. Being a CEO is difficult. This book will be frank about what it believes and how to improve your chances of success. Number 4. Money Master the Game by Tony Robbins The truth is that after you reach $100,000, the road to a million dollars is rather simple and clear. Robbins' book breaks it down into easy-to-understand language that may be used as a long-term strategy for investing your earnings. Number 5. The Almanac of Naval Ravikant by Eric Jorgensen Naval Ravikant's Almanac is a collection of his most meaningful business and life observations. Even better, this book is available for free download at thevalmanac.com. Eric Jorgensen has done a fantastic job compiling all of Naval's knowledge. The book is beautifully designed and contains everything from wealth, health, and philosophy from Naval in its purest form. The books allow you to quickly skim through the topics you want to learn, while skipping the ones you don't. This is one of the books that you can keep turning through the years and discover new things each time. Start with this book because it will act as a foundation for anything else you will undertake in your professional life. And we haven't found a better starting point yet. Number 6. The Richest Man in Babylon We always recommend The Richest Man in Babylon by George Samuel Classen to our newbie friends or those who are younger. This book will shift the way you think about money and put everything in perspective. you learn how the people made the city prosperous and wealthy. It's one of those books that you can finish in one sitting. Easy to understand and great for those who are not constant readers. Furthermore, it is inexpensive to purchase but quite valuable. Want to buy your freedom from being a slave to others? Then this book is for you! Number 7. The $100 Startup by Chris Geilbau Everyone believes that starting a million-dollar business requires hundreds of thousands of dollars. They are, however, incorrect. The $100 Startup was one of the first books we read when we started our financial adventure. It's not like you'll duplicate the business concepts in the book. You could, but it's filled with example after example of how others got started with less than $100. You can no longer use the excuse that you don't have enough money to start after reading this book. Number 8. Losing My Virginity by Richard Branson We've always admired Branson's business portfolio. The Virgin Group presently owns more than 400 businesses. That's crazy, considering he started the most important ones by himself. Losing My Virginity is a book for you if you want to learn how to recognize possibilities in your life based on personal needs. It will take you on a journey and train your brain to think sequentially. 
Number nine, Millionaire Fast Lane by M. J. DeMarco. Many people will repeatedly propose the same books to you. Those books on how to stop purchasing lattes, save every penny, and invest in a mutual fund. All of these books have an antidote in this book. It comes out swinging with the stark facts we like. The truth is that if you want to get rich quick, you must establish an exponentially growing firm. When you read this book, something will click, and you will understand the power of capital gains. Number ten, Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Yes, Rich Dad Poor Dad is a foundational book on passive income, and you're wise to know it. You will not be wealthy for the rest of your life unless you establish financial independence through passive income. This is a holy book on the subject. Calculate how much it costs you to maintain your lifestyle, then work your tail off until you generated enough passive income to pay that expense. Kiyosaki collaborated with Sharon Lechter on an amazing book about finance that even the younger generation could understand. Number eleven, the ten times rule by Grant Cardone. The ten times rule is a boost of confidence. It forces you to think bigger in terms of objectives and actions. The ten times rule is also intriguing since it encourages people to be more ambitious and achieve greater success in their lives. For some people, this might be motivating, making them desire to follow their aspirations even more than before. The ten times rule isn't for everyone, though. Some people argue that the ten times rule is overly simplistic and fails to account for all of life's intricacies. Number twelve, the four-hour work week by Tim Ferriss. From the beginning, this was a game changer. The courses in this book will assist you in creating the best system for your company. Tim had a unique perspective on business and how to utilize and take advantage of it. His book will undoubtedly teach you a lot. Number thirteen, how to win friends and influence people by Dale Carnegie. You must be able to communicate with others and gain their trust. They must adore you. They'll want to spend time with you if they like you. You will grow together if you spend time together. How to Win Friends and Influence People is still the best book we've read on the subject, and we think you will agree. Concentrate on the fundamentals, and you'll be fine. Number fourteen, The Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. This book, we believe, is for those of you who aren't starting from scratch. Some of you have a pessimistic attitude. You're in debt and having trouble making ends meet. Ramsey's advice is practical, to the point, and just what the average public needs to start taking control of their finances. Spend the eleven dollars and buy this book if you have the money difficulties and want to finally do something about them. Number fifteen. Atomic Habits by James Clear. This is the book for you if you are a slacker. You realize you're losing time by procrastinating, but you also want your life to improve. The difference between these two can be found in the little things you do every day. Atomic Habits is about developing routines and how to do so. Personalized learning is the way of the future. We don't believe in one-size-fits-all solutions, as the advice that works for everyone. Since you are most likely not like everyone else, your life objective is to make the world a better place. Money is one factor, but happiness, mental health, relationships, and your understanding of the world are also important. These books are affordable and also can be found online. All you got to do now is to choose which book fits for you, or even buy all of them. Just make sure to really open through those pages and get started. Have you read any of these books? Share your thoughts and the greatest lessons you've learned in the comments below. We hope you've learned a lot in today's video. As always, we thank you for supporting us. If you haven't yet, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring and valuable content like this. We'll see you in the next video.